What's up, people? Mr. Mom, bringing it at you on Fired Up Fridays, guys. That's right. Um, just going to talk about a couple things here real quick. Talk about fish tanks in transition. And what, what I mean about that, guys, is I got these, uh, these three tanks. I got this one, which is the 15-gallon. I got the Nano uh, Pico Reef Tank action there. I got the Nano Shrimp Tank over there, which I'm not really going to show a lot of because it's just... Uh, it's horrendous right now, guys. So, um, anyway, this tank right here, the 15 gallon, it needs to be rescaped, guys. It's the only thing that I really like about it right now is that log and the way that sits in there. Look at that moss. God, it needs a haircut so violently. It's <laughs> uh, it's grown out really bad. That's Java moss. It's it's at least four inches thick right there. Literally, guys. That's like four inches thick. So. But I'm going to do some rescaping, guys. I got some new plans for this tank. So this tank's in transition. I mean, I like it. I do like the tank, but uh, it's just one of those things. Um, I like the tank itself. I don't like the scape. So um, as you can see, I don't even have my CO2 hooked up. It's just, just kicking up there, just sitting in the water. But I mean, everything's doing all right. I mean, the fish are still giddy. Shrimp are still giddy in there. I got, I've got the big Amano shrimp in there. Um, and I mean everything's doing good. I just don't like the scape, so I'm gonna redo it I'm gonna do some carpeting and stuff in this tank. So I got plenty of light and CO2 and everything of course that I can run on this tank So that's that's how we're gonna roll with that one a um, little bit of housekeeping here real quick um, a guy I, I can't even remember his YouTube name. This, this is how much of an ass that I am guys um, I don't remember his YouTube name because I'm not sure I'm subscribed to him I should be but I'm not sure that I am um, but I, I'm just going to call him Dallas. You know who you are, guy. You sent me some plants. And the thing is, I don't even remember what kind of plants you sent me or whatever because I let them sit around again like an ass and they died. Um, and they were just like a green pile of mush. Now, I, I know that you want some Christmas moss, I think, for trade for those uh, dead plants. When you sent them to me, they were in great shape. It wasn't your fault, man. Uh, but I killed them. Um, so, yeah, blame me. I am the reaper. Uh, I don't even remember what they were, guys, but he sent me a grip of plants. They were alive when they got here. I forgot about them. They sat on my kitchen table, which is a junk pile, for about a week, and then they were dead. So um, I do have some Christmas moss for you here, though, man. Um, I do got more than this right here, but I'd like to start with this little, like, I got this about a golf ball size thing of Christmas. And look at all the star grass I got, guys. This is a bunch of starry grass. Star grass. So someone who wants it, this is probably, if you were to buy it like at my local fish store anyway, probably cost you about 15 bucks for this amount of star grass. Um, I'll give it away for free, guys. All, you do have to pay the shipping. It's like five and a half bucks for shipping. First person to hit me up on fired.fishtanks.ning.com um, with their address and tell me that they want the star grass and that can pay the shipping. Um, you can have the star grass, but hit me up quick guys like today or tonight Tomorrow the latest because I'm gonna put this in a bag and I'm gonna be floating in my 33 long out there. So um, Yeah, definitely don't hesitate if you want the star grass Because I mean it was all the way to the top of this tank guys this tanks been neglected just because I'm I'm just I just hate the scape right now, so um, That's gonna change. So I'm gonna redo some more stuff right over here. That's that's where my uh Reef tank's gonna sit, but we won't watch that right now. Let's take a look at the Pico, guys. Um, kind of show you what's going on with this. I had a major crash on the Pico tank, guys. A lot of my stuff died. Um, don't have a lot of snuff stuff left in here. Kind of started over. What happened is I went on vacation and uh, uh, for about three, four days, whatever. And uh, I didn't leave my wife enough RO water to do proper top off. So it's not her fault. It's my fault for not leaving her the proper supplies that she needed. Um, so, yeah, that's just the way that goes. Um, frog spawn, just barely hanging on there. Snails are doing good, though. I got three of the Astria snails. Then I got a Narcissus snail or Narissia snail or whatever. You can barely see his little snout shooting up right there. 
stupid looking, real stupid looking. But the tank's back on track, guys, so the corals will get restocked and everything and redone. And I'm working on, uh, you know, just piecing the money and everything together to get my other reef tank going. So there it is, guys. Um, just did some quick housekeeping. Make sure you get your contest videos in, people. Make sure you look for us on Twitter. Make sure you look for us on Facebook. Um, you guys know how to find it. It's not hard. Fired up fish tanks, people. Look it up. Follow us on all that, guys. That's the way it rolls. J Flesh Tanks, Mr. Mom Tanks. Peace.